morning guys welcome back to the vlog i have come down to asda's to do a bit of shopping and oh my days look at the queue you can see kai there at the end Hello. oh my days Got these yellow lines to keep up distance from everyone else. I'm not picking them up. He's scared to touch them, right? Yeah. Two hands. <laughs> Flip them full circle. You got it, Corey. You got that. Yes. Metallic balloons. Do we want metallic balloons? I don't know. Should we bend them up? No. Just leave them by there because someone will remember them. Or a small trolley? Get a big trolley. Oh, don't forget this part as well, will you? So, get a good clean. That's it, mate. Safety first. I feel like I'm on a ride for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, I feel safer on a ride than I do at the moment. I really feel needy there. Arrows on the floor, mate. Go follow the arrows. One way round the store, please. No bumping. What's the list? What's the list? <laughs> what list? Oh. Well, what's on the list, mate? Can we sanitize that? Me Tangerines, too. grapes, okay. mushrooms. Grapes, mushrooms. <laughs> Weird. Not only being out with a big biff haircut, but hang on, hang on, hang on, we'll get a bit closer. Not social distancing at all, come straight in front of us. 15p? That'll do for me. Oh, this is proper round and round, isn't it? Better wait by you, I think, mate. £2.50. Oh, that's nice. It's good for sale. Spoils on girl, though. Yeah, let's get it. Which one? Which one I should we get? That one. 
Oh, I don't know, I quite like the cheese this one. I know. Which one? Go on, you choose. I think we like Monkey. Monkey, yeah. £2.50 bargain. Smarty bunnies, £1.50. What is this, mate? Right? Two quid. Get one of those in there, please. One of them, two quid. Look at these eggs. Look at these. Look at these. 50p. Well, I don't like that chocolate though, I don't. I don't know about Oh, should I get a Peter Rabbit one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Is there, she wanted a Peter Rabbit. I'm going to get a Peter Rabbit Yeah, Peter Rabbit, mate. I don't know, but this monkey's bigger, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And that's, that's Kinder chocolate though, and that's Cadbury's. What would she rather? No. I think she'd love either one to be honest. Should I get a monkey or a rabbit? This monkey I'm gonna get. Get the monkey. Get the monkey. What else have we got? £2.50 for those big Cadbury's cream eggs. It's like cream eggs, isn't it? £2 for the big celebration egg. Where's one mum would like? Um, they had those packs of, you know those golden eggs? They had big packs of those, £2 for £1.50. £2.50. Get it. Mum won't send us again. <laughs> There's a fork in the road here, we can go anywhere we like. There. Do you want to get those mushrooms instead? Those are the ones one normally gets. These? I think all those, I don't know. I'll just stick with them. Fine. Right, what else? Cheese spread, great cheese. I'll tell you something that's really good is because of the shortage of staff, they're doing the whoopsies straight away. So first thing in the morning, the whoopsies are out. Get some real baggins. Lamb chops. Oh yeah, it comes with a free pair of sunglasses by the looks. Mm. Any bargains? Nah. Milk, always need milk. Should we get two? There's no milk there at oh, all. Let's get, let's get another one then, get two. She's not following the arrows. Do you know, some people are just stupid. Like, there's arrows on the floor and they, they still go in the wrong ways, coming towards you. Wow, oh, God, honestly. Bread. Check the date, mate, check the date. 14, 15. Let's go with that. But I suppose these arrows could be quite complicated to some people, is it? I don't know. I'm going to get some crumpets. Baps. Anything you want there, Kai? Oh, look at that, 16 mate. Oh my, don't you dare say that. Donuts, you dare say that. Donuts, look at that. 69. 69p. Pepsi, mate, Pepsi. Grab two, mate, grab two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got to the end of the store and Kai's missed loads of stuff out. Croissants. There's people trying to get past. Croissants. Croissants. Crackers, crisps. Crackers, crisps. And then that's all we can Crisps are by you anyway. Okay, crackers. You one job he had, one job. I've got to buy beers as well while I'm here. I run out and I can't do a, a beer run now, can I? To, to Bristol. Absolutely get it. Gravies, gravies. Let's have some roasters. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's it. Got the essentials. Whoa, whoa, don't squash anything. Go, go, go. Bank holiday Monday, day after Easter, and these are half price. Everything's half price. That's amazing. I think we'll have one of these. They were three for eight pounds, and now they're one three for four pound fifty. Three for eight pound. Three for eight pound, and now they're four pound fifty for three. Four pound fifty for three. That's not quite half then. No. Still a bag, you know. What we want to do is next year have Easter on Bank Holiday Monday. Bank holiday Save yourself a fortune. On Tuesday, then, because then you've got Monday together. Yeah, on Tuesday. Get three, is that? Yeah, get three, mate. We don't want to be coming back down here, do we? No. That's it. One pound fifty. Bargain. It's all good until you forget something, and then you've got to go up and down the aisles to get to them. Yeah, that'll do. Arrow pointing this way, and he's coming that way. I just don't know how difficult it can be to follow some arrows. I don't know whether people just being inconsiderate or maybe just you just forgetting even. But it's just a pain, isn't it? I think. I should get some hair clippers as well while I'm here, shouldn't I? Mrs. D said, no, keep it long. It'll be funnier. That's what she said, her words. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Take care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This lady stood right in the middle. Excuse me. Come on. Thanks. 
Well, what a plan that was, mate. I know. Well, I tell you what, it just fascinates me how people can follow some arrows on the floor. It's just mind-boggling. I'd heard about it. I'd heard people saying that people are not social distancing and just squeezing past them. It's so true. And what an idiot you are if you do that. What's the point in us all queuing outside for like 45 minutes just to ignore it anyway? And so, so when I come down here, sometimes uh, they let like 10 people in at the one time. They'll wait, I keep running queuing, and then let 10 people in, and then all at once. people are grabbing it. So you're all party. going in together. You know, some of it's good, but there's still a lot of it bad. Um, it's just all new to everyone, mate. I think that's a yeah. problem. But it's so scary, isn't it? I just think if you can follow a couple of arrows on the ground, <laughs> I don't know. So what do you think, Dan? He's awesome. Oh, what a kind brother you got, isn't it? Look at him. He is so cute. How was your chicken, I Kai? About me. Oh, <laughs> of course we're on about you. But how was your chicken? Yeah, my little chick. Oh, that's so cute, mate. So, guys, I thought I'd share our. First, that's my first shopping experience since the lockdown. Mrs. D been getting it after work, so, but because she's off, I decided to take the challenge of going to Asda, and I gotta be honest, one of a nice exp experience at all. I didn't enjoy it at all. People are just stupid. Guys, if you go shopping, wherever you go, just follow the arrows. It's not rocket science, it really isn't. <laughs> honest, just look down, you see an arrow, go that way, because people are not, and, it's so frustrating when they're walking towards you and you just feel like punching them. So guys, thank you for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye.